Now we're in, uh, down in uh, Arthur Dunn, and uh, nice pink egg flying again. Alyssa was able to get a ride in uh, Kathy Anderson's S12. Tell us a little bit about that. How was that flight? I enjoyed it, but it's a lot different. What do you mean, like, different? As uh, in, no... <laughs> a little more open. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot more open? Yeah. <laughs> well, in addition to that, there's some news here, and that is that Kathy and Bob, this is Kathy's airplane. She works with her husband, Bob. Kathy does all the work. Um, but uh, she has uh, put together this S-19. She's been flying it now for a couple of years. It's got the Viking 110 in it. It's been flying with the Whirlwind propeller, and now we're just doing a little comparison test with the Duke propeller. Uh, just the pros and cons of one over versus the other might be no reason at all. But more so, Kathy has a story to tell us about a long cross country she just made. Yeah, so we just flew from here, Titusville, Florida, up to Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Uh, made a couple of stops, and it flew flawlessly. It was beautiful uh, the whole way. Um, we were over water most of the way, and it, it flew just, I couldn't ask for more out of the engine. Really great. We trued out about 112 knots the whole way, up and back at 5,100 RPM, and it performed great. Couldn't be happier. Okay, and you uh, uh, you and your husband are actually quite um, interested in, in collecting accurate data. Yes, we are. So you have, uh, tell we us a little bit about what you have for, for doing that. Well, we have a Dynon Skyview, and so that has a data logger function. And most every flight, we download that and get the data so that we know exactly what we're doing. So we burned, five gallons an hour. So it took us 43 gallons total from Titusville, Florida to Cape Cod, Massachusetts, which we thought was great fuel economy. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah as far as uh, owning your own home-built aircraft, as long as it's the type of airplane that you're interested in, as far as, like you said, you have uh, a cross-country airplane here, and then of course we just viewed the S12, which is you also built, and, yeah. and uh, Alyssa was asking you prior to the flight, well, um, you know, why do you have two airplanes? What's the reason for that? And then you, your answer was? Different missions. So this airplane is a great cross-country machine. And that airplane is not. <laughs> if you want to go low and slow and cool off in the summertime, that's a great airplane, the S12. But this one is, uh, I think for the fuel economy you get, this is great for a cross-country. Okay. Well, thank you for the report. And, uh, and uh, I'm sure with this data logger you'll also be able to uh, give some uh, data on this uh, Duke propeller testing you're about to do. We will do that. Thanks again. 16 ounces of oil total. For the whole flight to Massachusetts. Flight. Nine hours up, nine hours and 38 minutes back. No, 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 no. So, but the oil consumption was next to nothing. The key is to not fill it full. Okay. We fill it to three, like three and a half. If you put it four, it's, it's just going to be down to three and a half in an hour. You leave it at three and a half, four hours late, it might be three and a quarter. Okay. So it's pretty good. Now, how long have you been flying this thing? Two years? Um, I haven't flown it yet. Kathy doesn't let me fly it. She doesn't like, no. she, she lets you in it. She lets me ride in it. I run. You run, but, the, uh, you run the instruments. Yeah. yeah. But I think we've got, I think that the TAC is up to 123 now or something like that. So that's pretty good in a year and a half. Okay. And uh, now, what kind of experiment are you up to now? I see there's something yellow up front. Yeah, this? Yeah. Oh, that's the new propeller. The ducky. Yeah, it's a ducky. We'll see how it works. It's gonna to have to work really good to, we were doing 112 knots indicated, excuse me, 112 knots true airspeed at anywhere from 1,000 to 8,500 um, altitude. And, and this is for the purpose of going like long, is, long distance cross country. Yeah, yeah. we were flying it at um, so most of the trip we did at 7,500 in the Dynon, if you download the data logger, it's, it's uh, 111, 110 to 112 knots of true airspeed the whole way. All right. That's so cool. it's pretty darn good, 5,100 RPM. As far as the uh, Rains S19 airplane, the airframe itself, we keep talking about propellers and engines, but do you think it's a nice, nice airplane? Um, we got it because it's what Kathy wanted to build. <clears throat> now, after 125 hours. I like it. Yeah. The only thing that I don't like about it on a long trip is that I... If the, I had to put my feet behind the rudder pedals and find room in between because it's... Because you didn't move the seat back. 
Yeah, if I moved the seat back, <laughs> if I moved the seat back, I probably would have enough. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll do another report with uh, after the uh, ducky testing. But it. Um,